Welcome to the homework for lesson six. It's module five of grade two. Don't forget to put your name down here. We're going to be practicing some compensation strategies for subtraction and we're modeling them. We're just going to draw them with tape diagrams. And that's draw and label a tape diagram. It's in the directions actually and some of the tape diagrams are drawn for us already and some of them we're going to have to draw ourselves. And then we'll write our new number sentence and then subtract. And the goal for all of these strategies is we want an easier subtrahend to subtract every time. So we're looking to get our subtrahend uh, up or down to usually up to the nearest even hundred. So we want like 100, 200, 300, 400. Those those kinds of numbers. Those are the ones we want our we want to be subtracting because then we won't have to worry about um, doing any regrouping or decomposing tens or hundreds because we're subtracting zero tens and zero ones. We'll never have to decompose anything as long as we're doing that. And then, uh, and then we can just do some, do the subtraction mentally. So it's just another, just like, uh, we're still doing really a mental math strategy. And this is just a way to explain the mental math strategy. So 340, that 190 is almost 200. So we just add 10 to both numbers, right? If we add 10 to this 190, now it's 200 and it's a lot easier to subtract. But because we need the endpoints to match up in this tape diagram, we have to add 10 to both numbers. So now this is 350 from end to end. And that's where the 350 minus 200 comes from. And here, now you can do the subtraction. Probably you can do it mentally because you're looking at this. You only have to subtract hundreds. 150. <clears throat> 420 minus 190. Well, again, here we have 190 is really close to 200. So we're looking at this. We want our minuend. That's our big number, big piece of tape, 420. Smaller number, smaller piece of tape, 190. That's our subtrahend. And then we need to add 10 because we want this, we want our subtrahend, the number we're subtracting, to be, we want it to be an even 100. So now that, that makes it 200. We have to add the same to both to keep the difference the same. So now we have, instead of 420, we have 10 more, 430 minus the 200 we wanted. And now we're just looking at subtracting hundreds digits, 200, and we still have the 3 tenths, 30. Now we have to draw our own tape diagram. So here we go. Oops, kind of sloppy, but that will work for 500. And then smaller piece of tape, endpoints matching up. See? And this is the 280. Now, 280, we need... 20 more to get it up to the next 100, right? So that would be 300, but we need 20 more this time. So it's 20 more, and that's 20 more for both of them. So now we have 500 plus 20, that's 520, minus the 300. And now we're just looking at hundreds digits. It's easy to subtract this mentally. Two hundreds will be left, and we still have the 20. All right, I'll try not to, I'll try to draw some straighter pieces of tape this time. I'm not very good at it. Okay. This is the 650. 280. It's going to be a little bit smaller. And this is an 80, so we need 20 more to get that up to 300. And so we're going to add 20 more to our menu end. 650 plus 20, that's 670 minus, now we have 300. Now we just have to subtract hundreds. 370, we still have the 70, the, the 7 tens. And now we have, we have to draw this one over here because we kind of don't have much room at the bottom. Here's our 740, that's our minuend, and our subtrahend 270. 
Usually this strategy works well when you're subtracting. If you're subtracting ones or tens, it's like either eights or nines. Then here we have a seven, and now you, it can still work, but you don't want to do it for anything less than that. If you're looking at sixes, if you're making up, making the next uh, ten or the next hundred with sixes, or anything less than seven, it's it's going to be a lot harder than probably some other strategy that might be. There's probably some other strategy that's going to be better. So this is 270, and now we need 30 more to make to get this up to the next hundred, which would be 300. So we need 30 more for each of them. And this is uh, 740 plus 30 is 770. And we're going to subtract 300 now. And that gets us 400. And don't forget the 70 there. And this is more of the same, but now we are checking our work using addition. So here's our first example. 237 minus 100, right, because we needed, we're getting that 99 up to 100, that's why we added 1 to both of these, and that's just 100 less than 237, is 137, and now to check, we're going to add our menu end, no, not our menu end, we're going to add our subtrahend back to our difference, and then we should get the menu end back for a total. So this is going to be pretty easy because we're adding uh, we're adding a, a hundred, which is we've got the easier number there. So one hundred plus thirty-seven, hundred thirty-seven, excuse me, and that should give us back the two hundred thirty-seven. Which it does. It's a hundred more than one hundred thirty-seven. Two hundred thirty-seven. Three hundred seventy-two minus one hundred ninety-nine. Here's our menu end. Three hundred seventy-two. Our subtrahend, 199, that's one away from 200, so we need to add one to both numbers. So now that's, now we have 373 minus 200, which is 173. And if we check our subtraction, our mental subtraction, we add our subtrahend, that's the 200, that's how much you subtract, and we're going to add it to our difference, which is what's left over after we subtract, 173, and we should get our menu end back, and we see we're just adding hundreds here, 373. 442 minus 298. Let's draw the tape diagram first. 442, that's our menu end. And our subtrahend. 298. That's only two away from 300. So I'm going to make, add two to both of these. So our new menu end is going to be 440 and it's two more so it's 444 and we're subtracting 300 which should leave us with 144 and now we're going to add our subtrahend which is 300 to our difference 144 and we should get the 100 the 444 back you see here we just 3 plus 1, that's 400, and we just have the 44. And that matches. 718 for our menu end, 
718. And our subtrahend, 390. Now the 390 is just 10 away from 400, so we just make these both 10 more. Which means now we have 728 minus, and that's our 400 right here. Now we're only subtracting hundreds. We can look at 700 minus 400, that's 300. And we still have the 28 because we're subtracting 0 1s and 0 10s. 328. And to check, we're going to add the 400 to the 328 and we should get the 728 back just to know that we did our mental subtraction right 400 plus 328 equals and you can see we're going to have 700 4 plus 3 7 and 0 here added to the 28 is just 28 for the tens and the ones